tutorial we're going to have a look at putting IKEA handles onto the skeleton and then starting to group these up so that we can um, do controllers in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the hippo body and uh, hide that it's on this layer and we're going to the layer where the skeleton is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, object mode select and then we'll go on here so i'm going to go into the side view and what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go in here and have a look at the the skeleton so here we go and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the skeleton um, and the IK handle tool. And the IK handle tool, uh, the settings that we want, by default, if you reset it, uh, you'll see that it's a single chain solver that's activated, and we want to go to the rotational plane solver. So, what we're going to do is, I'm just actually going to go into perspective view, and I'm going to um, select the IK handle. And I'm going to go in here and set an IK handle from the hip down to the ankle. Focus in on this and then I'm going to take the IK again. I'm going to go from here to here and then again from the ball to the toe. Now in the hypograph I'm going to um, name these first of all. So I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to rename that one. So we're going to go left ankle IK. So it's LFT underscore ankle um, IK underscore IK. And then this one here, I'm going to rename that one left ball IK. So we'll call that T underscore um, ball underscore IK and then this this one we'll rename that one left to IK so underscore to underscore IK okay now we're going to set up um, a series of groups so I'm going to take the ankle IK here and I'm going to go a command G to group it. And I'm going to right click on that and rename that left ball left groups. So I'll call this left underscore ball left underscore GRP. Okay. And then I'm going to select the um, left ball IK and shift and select the left toe IK and then command G to group those and that one we're going to rename as left toe row groups so let's have a look LFT underscore row Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna call the, these two left toe left group underscore toe left underscore G R P. Okay, so we've got the left ball I K and the toe I K on and group them into left toe left group. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these. And then I'm going to go Apple G and we're going to call this one, rename, we're going to call this left toe row group. So left underscore toe row underscore G R P. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, take that one and we're going to command G, this one, and we're going to command G 
and then call this one um, left ankle turn grip left underscore ankle turn underscore grp ankle turn grip okay so we've got that one now what we're going to do next is we're going to start centering um, moving the, the pivot points for here so for each of these we're going to hit the move tool and we're going to hit the um, insert key and we're going to put the left we'll start with the uh, well the left actually going to go start with left toe lift groups like that one and then I'm going to middle mouse button hold down V and snap it there to the center ball joint so then I'm going to take the left ball lift that one and middle mouse and hold down V and snap it again snap it Put this one middle mouse button and hold down V. Mm. Hold down V and snap it to there. That's this. And then the next one I'm going to do is left toe roll. Hold down V and middle mouse button snap it there. I'm just making sure that's in the right position. That's in the right position. And then the left ankle turn, you're going to hold down V and middle mouse button and snap, snap it to the ankle. Um, now these are all set in position. And the next part of this tutorial, um, we're going to continue um, showing the, um, the actual um, controller. So this ends the, the, the um, tutorial for setting the um, IK handles and the groups and the center pivot points for each of these groups for the um, foot.